cars. Of like, do you hit the car, the crowd, or do you go off the cliff? You know, okay. that's too deep for me. All right, you guys, see you ready? No? Hi. Am I on? I'm just too short. Okay, uh, good evening. Uh, I'm going to call this meeting to order. This is the uh, City of Moorhead Planning Commission and Board of Adjustments. Um, before we do the roll call, I would like to introduce Tim Stone, who is our new at-large member. Tim is an architect with, architect with RET Architecture. Anything else you'd like to add, Tim? Turn on your... I don't know if it's on. I just want to say I'm thankful to be here. That's about it, so... Well, thanks for joining us. Welcome. Welcome. <clears throat> uh, roll call, please. Matt Lysa. Here. Jim Haney. Here. Tim Stone. Here. Nicole Matson. Here. Ben Hammer. Here. Okay, so my understanding is that we don't actually need a motion to approve agenda amendments. So does anybody, first of all, have any amendments, amendments to the agenda? Okay, so I don't see any. So... Are we in the clear of not doing a motion to approve the agenda? We usually do a motion to approve the agenda and then you do a motion. Um, you don't have to do an extra one to, to add things. So you're not adding anything, but you need to approve this agenda. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Mary, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, can I get a second? Second. Okay. So Jim moved to approve and... Um, Matt seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying yes. 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 All those opposed, say no. Okay, it looks like the agenda passes as written. Um, approval of minutes. I just had one note on the uh, minutes from the January meeting. Uh, if I can find it. On other business, um, the uh, motion made to designate me as chair and the FM MetroCog Policy Board representative. Uh, the mayor has decided that the MetroCog Policy Board representatives will be uh, from the city council, and so the representative from this board is an alternate. So I have been going to the meetings, but and I have actually, I think I've been voting because our full delegation has never been there. Um, but I am the alternate, not the delegate, so <clears throat> just FYI. Anybody else have any other changes to the minutes? Can I get a motion to approve the minutes? Move to approve. Um, any other discussion? Right, I gotta do that too. I'm the worst at this. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, motion to approve the minutes. All those in favor, please signify by saying yes. Yes. All those opposed, please say no. All right, minutes are approved. <laughs> Um, do we have any citizens to be heard on any issues that are not on the agenda? It would not appear to be so. Okay. So um, do I need a motion to open the public hearing on the Board of Adjustments? Motion to open the hearing. And a second. Uh, any other discussion? No? No, because we don't have any items under okay. that. Okay. That's what Sorry. I was thinking. No, that's okay. Fast for me. Oh, that's the Board of Adjustments. Yeah, for the Board of Adjustments. Yeah. Okay. So we don't need, so we have nothing for the Board of Adjustments. Okay. Yep. Planning Commission. Can I get a motion to approve? I will make that motion. Thank you. I understand. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor of the motion to open the public hearing on the Planning Commission, please signify by saying yes. Aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say no. Okay. We are open. So, okay. Um, on page uh, three of your packet is the planning commission report for this item. Uh, Eventide Senior Living Communities is requesting a vacation of easements within Annette's first edition. Um, they are requesting um, the commission to hold a public hearing and staff is suggesting to recommend approval of the vacation of the two easements and relating, related findings of fact um, subject to the three conditions listed in the report. Uh, this, the 1500 7th Street um, South Eventide location is planning a large expansion and um, the vacation of these easements are necessary to facilitate that project. Uh, notices were sent to affected property owners and utility companies and the public notice was published for two consecutive weeks in the the extra um, comments included in your report 
from the utility companies and the applicant and owner, applicant owner is aware of their responsibility to reroute and reestablish any easements or for existing public and private utilities. Staff is suggesting that the Planning Commission approve the findings of fact, which is on page eight of your packet, um, and that outlines that the vacations are contingent upon uh, three conditions, and that is uh, we still need a verification of sewer easements for uh, 1401 8th Street South. Um, the city engineers believe it's um, the existing easement is not necessary, but we just have to verify it in the field when it gets warmer. And then the other uh, second condition is, as I said, the owner is responsible for re rerouting and reestablishing all the e all easements for existing public and private utilities and that the owner and applicant receives all required federal, state, and local permits. Um, and I think I already said that, but we're recommending approval of the, the, two, um, the two vacation, the two easement vacations. And I will be glad to have, happy to ask or answer any questions if you have any. Did you receive any public comments? We did not. I think in the report, um, all the comments from the utility companies are listed, but we didn't get any public comments. Okay, so on page four, the, that last bullet item on page four, um, I just am not 100% clear. I understand what's going on there. So could you just explain that a little bit further? Sure. The... Um, the easement that runs east of the current even tide building, um, there are exist. There's an there may be an existing sewer line in there for the building that's just to the north, which is an off a four unit office building. Um, the engineering department looked at it, and because of the year that the building was built and the year of the sewer, they think that it's not connected there. They think it's connected in the street. So we just have to verify it before we vacate the easement. Um, and if it is still needed, we'll have to keep a portion of the area that they want vacated. I believe he said about 10, was it 10 feet? Yeah, yeah, 10 feet. We'll just maintain 10 feet of that easement um, if that's where their sewer connection is. And then otherwise, the, the other um, private utilities, those would be, um, I know there's, there's some poles there that will have to be reloc relocated for cable and some other things, and those would be probably more easily moved than a sewer, because if the sewer is um, in there, they may have to um, connect in the street, which is, that's a costlier move. Right. So we're hoping that it's not <laughs> for the, the project. And we're just waiting for the snow to melt. Yeah, to they'll be have able to, to go out and do some, um, you know, locates and mm -hmm. do some, you know, confirming where the actual connections are once the snow is melted. Okay. Any other questions for Robin? Okay, do we have anybody um, here who would like to speak on behalf of or against the request for the vacation of eas easements? Okay, uh, it doesn't look like it. So, do, okay, so we talked about this. Mary and I talked about this uh, motion to close. Are we closing this first public hearing? Mm -hmm. And then we're, then we're voting. Yep, okay. close and then you can discuss and then right. Thank you. Um, vote. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I get a motion to close the public hearing on uh, the Eventide Senior Living Community's Vacation of Easements request? So moved. Second. Yeah. Okay, Tim second. Second. Any other discussion? All those in favor, please say yes. Uh, yes. yes. All those opposed, please, please say no. Okay, uh, public hearing is closed. Now, is there any other discussion among the members of the commission or any questions or comments? And the applicant is here. If you wanted to ask him any direct questions. Okay, looks like everybody's uh, ready to vote on this. Um, 
I would just who I am totally fine with it as long as we're adding that um, condition if they need to have that 10 foot easement. Mm -hmm. So, um, can yep. Um, can we get anybody get a, can we get a motion to approve or motion? <clears throat> I don't, somebody want to make a motion to approve the request of. I will move for approval of the uh, vacation uh, easements related to finding a fact contingent upon the owner applicant coordinating the funding costs relating to relocation of utilities as required for the Eventide Senior Living Communities, um, and that's first edition. Thank you, Matt. Would anybody like to second that? Madam Chair, I will second. Thank you. Uh, any other discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying yes. 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 All those opposed say no. All right. Item number two, can I get a motion to open a public hearing on the request of Oakport Holdings LLC for a preliminary plat relating to preserve on Broadway edition? So moved. Second, anyone? I'll second. Uh, any other discussion? Um, all those in favor, please say yes. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Okay, public hearing is open. Thank you, Chairperson Matson. Uh, this item starts on page 15 of your packets. Um, this request of the commission is to hold a public hearing and staff is suggesting to recommend approval of the preliminary plat for preserve on Broadway edition subject to the six conditions listed in their report. Uh, this uh, preserve on Broadway edition is a proposed 28 lot single family residential subdivision on approximately 47 acres in the Oakport annexation area, which is the corner of Broadway Street Northwest and 70th Avenue Northwest. The development is proposing three new streets with a rural design which incorporates ditch and culvert systems. The applicant keeping with what is already in the area is requesting waivers for curb and gutter, sidewalks, boulevard trees, street lighting, and the cul-de-sac length. Uh, this um, development will require the installation of a, of a new lift station for sanitary sewer service because you're, if you're adding 28 more houses, the existing lift station serves about 20 and that's at, that's at its maximum. Um, in addition to the ditch system, stormwater management will be provided by the adjacent Buffalo Red River uh, Watershed District Pond to the south and west of this development. The applicant is also proposing um, no park parkland to be dedicated and therefore park fees would be required um, with their development agreement. Notice was published in the extra and we did get one comment to date um, and that was just suggesting consideration of additional traffic controls. Um, there is a two-way stop at Broadway and 70th. Um, they were concerned with the additional cars that maybe that um, there'd be some additional problems. Um, those are both county state aid highways, so that would be up to the county engineer, but we can certainly forward that comment to them. Staff is suggesting the Planning Commission recommend approval of the preliminary plat contingent upon, um, there's six, six recommended conditions, utility and drainage easements be provided as needed, um, show and update all public easements as needed, update street names, um, add and revise plat items that I sent to the um, applicant for corrections before the final plat. Um, the owner shall enter into a development agreement with the city of Moorhead and the owner shall receive all required federal, state, and local permits. And that concludes my comments and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Okay, so I have questions. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of as needed here and um, I just was wondering how that gets determined. Like what, who, how, how, what, gets, what is within the purview of that as needed? This uh, plat has been reviewed by all city departments and the engineering department has made some comments. So on the, on the drawing that's in your packet, um, it shows some easements between the lots and you know, kind of along the front of the lots. Um, we are making, I should say the engineering department's making recommendations because this is a rural subdivision that we need larger easements. So when we say as needed, we just, it's more of a general statement. Um, they've already agreed to increase the size of the easements that were proposed for the final plat. So um, 
and then the other one, number two, uh, there, there is a electric easement listed on the plat and that information needs to be corrected because there's some um, information from MPS that they're going through a transition with the rural electric out there and that's all part of that annexation agreement. So again, we say as needed to keep the language a little looser. Um, and then the street name, you know, there is one correction to the street name and then there's, I have a, a list of items that I, when I, once I'm done with my review, while I'm writing your report, I send these comments to the applicant and then they generally respond and say, you know, yeah, we'll address this before the final plat. Um, we keep, you know, all the departments, I take all the department's comments and put them in this review so they have them all at the same time. That's Thank you, mm -hmm. that answers my question. Mm -hmm. Sure. Anybody else have questions for Robin? Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, on the southwest corner of the subdivision there, is that a retention pond that's shown in the aerial photograph? It is. That's the um, Buffalo Red River Watershed District. Just described in there. Yep, that is, um, that's existing, and I believe one of my comments in the report was to verify if that has capacity for the stormwater runoff for this development and I, the applicant did get back to me and said that they have verified that it will have capacity. And that capacity is when the development is completely full? Yeah, like a 20, if they built 28 homes, um, you know, that may take some time, who knows, um, but it should be fine for those needs. Plus they have the ditches and the culverts to take off some of the run, the run the storm water as well. Any other questions for Robin? Uh, is there anyone here who would like to speak um, about this application? Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, members of the Commission. My name is Jeff Schaumann with Oakport Holdings. I live at 6509 Third Street, North Morgan. Uh, I've been a resident of Oak Court for about 12 years now. Uh, Excuse me. I'm sorry. Could you make sure your microphone's on? There we go. Is that better? That is. Thank you. Uh, I've been a resident of Oakport for about 12 years. Once upon a time, I was the chair of the Oakport board before annexation. So very familiar with the area and, and the parties involved. Um, this particular property is the most extreme northwest corner of the city. It lies within the Oakport Dyke Project, so it's uh, probably one of the most flood protected pieces of property in all of Fargo-Moorhead. Um, we've been working with city staff and have agreed to all of their uh, comments regarding easements and so forth, and we continue to work cooperatively with them. Uh, this is a little different than a normal uh, city subdivision like you would see insofar as it's acre to three acre lots rather than quarter to a third acre lots. Um, and as a result of that, uh, there's certain things that, that just don't make sense, such as curb and gutter and sidewalks and so forth, because the lots are just so large. Uh, so far, we've heard, had a pretty overwhelming response from, from people that uh, want to still be in city limits, but are looking for that more rural lifestyle. And uh, we're, we're excited that this project can hopefully offer that to, to residents of the city or potentially new residents of the city. Uh, there was a couple um, comments regarding the watershed district and the stormwater pond in particular. Uh, so just to clarify, uh, when the dike was constructed, these internal stormwater ponds were built to handle large flood events. Uh, and it was designed with the capacity of this land being developed at a third acre lot. So given we're only, uh, or given that we are one acre lots, there's significant capacity within that pond to not only handle this development, uh, but also potential future development as well. So with that, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be glad to address any questions or that the commission might have. Does anyone have any questions? What is the size of the, uh, the two largest lots there? Uh, yeah, thank you, Commissioner Haney. Uh, the two largest lots are just under three acres. Uh, one, I believe, is 2.85 acres, and uh, the other one is similarly sized. And that's fully in keeping with the aspects of pastorality that they want to Correct, yes, and, uh, and those two lots, I, I believe, will be the two nicest lots in Moorhead when they're, when they're done. They're, it's really is some beautiful land if you haven't been up there. 
Have, has anybody expressed any concerns about, I, I know that there was, it was brought up by the, the single person who um, had an issue with uh, maybe a semaphore or traffic stop on 70th and Broadway. What about the access on, what is it, 68th? Any concerns with the stop sign and the traffic coming in and out of that area? Uh, thank you, Commissioner Hammer. Uh, we've spoken with the county highway engineer. Uh, they've actually recommended the limitation of these two access points and provided some guidance in terms of where they wanted them. Uh, as part of the development, there would be stop signs exiting the development on both of those county roads. Uh, you know, most of the traffic generation will head towards town, whether it be east on 70th or south on the new Broadway Street. So, uh, you know, if, if there is additional traffic at that intersection, as the concerned resident noted, uh, you know, adding two stop signs, I don't presume to be a large issue from a county. It's just really about, you know, traffic and what they think is best. And if I'm reading this correctly, it appears to be somewhat just under about a thousand feet from the edge of the development or the north side of the stormwater pond all the way up to 70th. So taking into consideration where about, must be about 700 feet or so from about 68th to 70th. That's yeah. Something like that. Yeah, thank you, uh, okay. Commissioner. Uh, yes, I believe that's accurate. It's in excess of uh, 600 feet Perfect. or 700 feet, okay. excuse me. Well, that's a lot more than a city block, so thank you. Yep, thank you. Any other questions from anyone else? <clears throat> okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to speak about this application? It does not appear to be so. All right. So, can I get a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. I will second that. Any other discussion? All those in favor of closing the public hearing, please signify by saying yes. Yes. Aye. All those opposed say no. Okay, public hearing is closed. Does anybody have any comments or any questions they'd like to ask about this application? This request, I'm sorry. I'd just like to go on record and say that I think it's going to be a welcomed and very nice development to North Morehead. So, excellent choice. Um, I was up there this morning. It's a lovely piece of property. It's a nice um, area, and I think it's going to be a nice development. I'm, my personal preference is for things like sidewalks, but I understand why people living up in that part of town would prefer not to have them. And so, under other circumstances, I would like to see sidewalks, but I, I get why it is platted the way it is, and I think it's going to be lovely. Yeah, I was going to say, I think for myself also, that I understand why they don't have sidewalks, or you're not, I guess, providing sidewalks, but I'm thinking also if I live there, I want to go for a walk in the evening. I don't want to walk down the street and possibly get hit by a car or have a kid run out and hit by a car. But I understand that then the connectivity and also, uh, I don't know, there would be no connectivity to meet these standards for American Disabilities Act. But yeah, so. That was my other, that was my one concern was the accessibility issue in terms so, of the, the yeah. lack of sidewalks, but. Yes. Anybody else? <clears throat> okay, Matt, you're good at motions. Want to make one? I certainly will. Thank you. I would uh, move for approval of the uh, Oakport Holdings LLC uh, for the preliminary plat uh, relating to the preserve on Broadway Edition with the uh, six uh, recommended uh, um, considerations uh, that are listed on page 15. Can I get a second? Second. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none. Um, all those in favor of approval of Matt's motion, please signify by saying yes. Yes. Aye. All those opposed, please say no. And it looks like the motion passes. Okay, we are on to other business. Is there any other business? I do not have anything else, if anyone else has anything else. Okay, uh, reports and information. I see number one is the final bylaws. Yes, thank you, Chairperson Matson. Um, in your packet, I included the final um, iterations of the Planning Commission and the Board of Appeals 
um, bylaws that you approved in January just so that you could see them with all the change language. And essentially the only things that were changed were the, the meeting date went from Tuesday to Wednesday and then we changed that language to be a little looser up for our deadlines so that we can talk to applicants and let them know that they need to get certain inf you know certain information in ahead of time. When we do these pre-development um, meetings with applicants, even if we talk to them on the phone, it, it does help the process and it, I think it also helps um, the applicants because they, they're more aware of what they need and um, they can correct things on their plans before they even get to this point. Um, so th that's there. And then the other, the other other business item was I just included the, um, the latest planning, um, Minnesota planning a newsletter in which we do on a regular basis. Okay, thank you very much, Robin. Um, I don't think we actually need a motion to adjourn because it's the last item on the agenda. So, do you need me? Do you need us to make a motion to adjourn? Yes. I'm, I think the rules <laughs> say we don't, but I'll go with it this time. This is like the one rule I know. Okay, can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second? Second. Uh, any other discussion? All those in favor, favor please say yes. 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 All those opposed, please say no. And we are adjourned. Thank you very much.